Jane. Jack. Rear thrusters. Jack. Picnic basket. Uh, Jack. Right, let's take them. Hello anyone we are watching now or later, welcome back to Hillian's Hub with me Hillian, along with... The crazy lizard, the, the crazy sweet drakir. <laughs> and for once and... that isn't getting caught off. And yeah, we have an extra today. Hi, I'm Ram, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, and we also have a bunch more lights in my room now, being powered by power banks. Bas basically they're just, oh, that's lighting up my face real <laughs> basically power banks with uh, reading lights attached to them and yeah that should fill in the gaps in the lighting on my green screen because I can't really see the f the buzzing or that would usually be there in the corners so yeah that seems to have fixed it so far I'll just have to keep in mind to keep those power banks charged <laughs> luckily they don't turn off or anything on their own I'm going to turn that one a little bit though, because it's shining on the side of my face like that. Okay. And yeah, welcome back to Dark Messiah of Might and Magic for the third time. And yeah, last time we learned that the titular Dark Messiah is us. Well, well Sarath. <laughs> <laughs> um, if we were to be the Dark Messiah, if we were the Dark Messiah, the Dark god would be completely fucked because we'd be incompetent at the job now you say that but uh, there is a dead cyclops here somewhere there it is just because we're good at killing shit doesn't mean we're good at taking over the world <laughs> true <laughs> but yeah last time we fought the cyclops he killed it uh, somehow <laughs> without failing too much hmm. i wonder if we can climb up there somehow and again, I, I haven't looked up if there is anything that can be done if you lose the robo other than yeah, spawning in a new one. So yeah, let's just use it and get out of here. And yeah, last time we actually crashed when we tra tried to transition into the next level. So just out of precaution, let's put up a safe right at the transition point. And okay, there we go. Keeping an eye on the statistics of the game, or of how it's yeah, of the re recording, just in case something goes funky. funky. There we go. All right. Now, I do remember one area that is up coming up. Good riddance. We'll have to do something about this place once you come into power. Let's get out of here first. Of course, my prince. And yeah, the lighting is a bit off on these pieces of wood. You might uh, want to save. Was... Yeah. I believe yeah. the transition point is just up ahead. Dumb question. Did you get the holy weapons? Yeah, I, but the... Really? That fall hurt? I'm pretty sure we've fallen from higher. Uh, we found the dragon swords, but other than that, no holy weapons. I don't... I'm not sure if you can find any others. Oop. I Maybe the dragon sword is a holy weapon. I don't want to spoil anything just yet. Yeah, I know what's up ahead. I have I've played this game like through five to six or even more times. But yeah, I, I believe there is only one holy weapon that you can be, you know, find up until now, um, unless it's in one of those extra secret areas that I don't know about. You want me to Cause... spoil it for the audience? Yeah, uh, well. Let oh, here's. Yeah, let's not spoil it just yet, though. Okay. They can they can take a good guess that if you get something, you're going to be able to use it eventually. Okay. You. Ah, this area. Now this is a true playground for this game. Oh dear. I think there was something to supposed to happen whilst we were passing by. Hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're going to be uh, kicking a lot of people around in here. 
<laughs> that was golden. Ah, I hear something. Donk. Okay. We got fire? Yeah, let, let's trick the to walk run into ice into the fire. It has to be done. Bit higher. Okay, a bit lower. There. Uh, the voice actors for these goblins had such a fun time with it. Ooh. Can we actually get him to? No, he's just a bit off. Yeah, they're not going to walk straight towards the fire. I say that. Yeah. I say that. They <laughs> won't immediately walk towards the fire. Oh, yeah, that was too high. Or too low. Blue. Yeah. Hmm. There's another one going around. There was one up there. I think that's a fourth then. Not enough mana, of course. Hmm. Honestly, we could go for a bit of stealth here, but oh, but that is just a golden opportunity over there. <laughs> okay, he doesn't give a shit about his friend being on fire. <laughs> But he did say nice in a weird meme way. Mm. Ooh, eh. <laughs> it didn't fire with him. <laughs> oh, now he cares. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the surviving one is not the sharpest tool in the shed. Or the brightest torch in the cave. Uh, is there any reason why I love being stealthy in games, or when I'm competent at being stealthy in games? Oh, oh two more. Okay, um, what happens if I try to ice up the underside? Oh, and there's another. Is that going to... No, that doesn't work. Okay, too bad. I, I just thought it might ice up the upper side as well. Some food. Ooh. Shadow steel daggers. Okay, and ring of the phoenix. I think we already got one of those. Uh, and spotted. Okay, we'll take a check on what those are in a second, and hello there. I just realized something. Can we put the hay bale on fire and throw it? Probably. Oh, rip. How is that a... <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Must be because he was getting shocked that I could backstab there. Oh, hello. I didn't notice you standing on the freaking <laughs> flank. Okay. Ooh, that, oh, that's a Two pit. seconds. Okay. How can I even open up? No, he's already dead. <laughs> Some food. And away with you. Nope. Uh, where are all of these coming from? <laughs> That's what you get for wasting your time. 
Okay. Where is... Oh, there. Okay, you go pester the goblins for a bit. First, uh, looks a bit like it. <laughs> uh, I, I think that was the last of them. <laughs> oh dear! Uh, now, now I am. Oh no, it's not. Two more, three more. Where are all of these coming from? I, I know some of these that I kicked down wouldn't die from their injuries. What? Uh, uh, let's put the hay bale on fire and throw it at them. That should be enough. If that even works. Oop, miss. <laughs> oh, bloody. <laughs> okay. Uh, what if I throw it through the fire at him? Yeah, I'm not picking that up again. Well, it is not burning. burning. It still burned me. <laughs> <laughs> And him. Okay, now where where'd that orc go? Oop. And now they're running. So there we go. It, it is doing a bit much with this. Oh no, that was actually. <laughs> I thought it was screen shaking. From a the attack, not from the earthquakes. Yeah. Okay, is that all of them now? Where, where the hell did that orc go? Oh. Okay, so we can't climb the, up from here. Put those away before they blind me. Okay, so this is how you'd get out if you fell in here. Okay. Doesn't seem to be... Anything hidden here? There we go. Anything... A cleaver? We we already have one of those, not that we can use it. But we do have enough points to get strength upgraded. Uh, okay. We're still one off from getting critical hit too, and with that, the superior Naga Silk Sword. Yeah, and you realize so. the orc forgot his cleaver? Yeah. Because he was real angry if he gets his sword. Okay. That brings this light down. Hmm. Where are we actually supposed to go? Up, oh. <laughs> up the chain. <laughs> because, of course, I forget the chain can be climbed. Any goodies hidden around here? Right. Uh, Okay, there was just the sunlight and not some something hidden on top of this thing. Anyways, let's see. We found dark steel daggers. There, plus six damage. Okay, that's more than these. And I think goblins... I'm not sure if goblins take extra damage from lightning. I do. Okay, so we, might, we can stick with these for now and then switch to the dark steels when needed. Hmm. <laughs> Still unsure if we should toss the poison Chris, though. And what way are we to go? That is blocked off. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Almost fell back down there. Okay, anything lower then? Hmm. Okay, there. Okay, so a bit unneeded area up there, but still nice. And... Okay, with this it seems a bit... Less like the lighting is a bit off. It's still not <laughs> entirely perfect. And you can see the separate light beams here. That could have used a bit of polish. Oh, transition place. So, quick save. Okay. Mm, 
No. <laughs> the moment I saw something was above us there, but no, it was just the, the vines and the plants. You're not alone. I, I was to ask another Pukai. Oh, Pukai, I mean, not Pukai. Pukai. <laughs> Pukai. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Uh, no, I didn't say anything. I was just chuckling. <laughs> okay, some more stuff. We still haven't used a single one of those full health potions. But we can use them at the end of the game. Which That's we're still a good bit off. Oh. I think that was supposed to be a critical strike there, with the red glow. Oh dear. Like I said, that's one way today. You get slashed and smacked into a wall. Oh, yeah. But what was that? Yeah, it's Radio. a shovel. Uh, oh. Yeah, I did oh. not recognize it from the side. Yeah, I think the only thing we can do with that is throw it. And I actually recognize this bit here, I think. Actually. Uh, there were a bunch of uh, shorts that the developers made to uh, highlight some of the stuff we can do with the combat and such. And I believe this w was one of the spots in, in the game that they showed that off. Uh, just to be sure, I'm going to stick one in there as well. Okay. Anything hidden down here? Okay, some mushrooms. And another plank. Mushroom, magic mushroom, and another one that's out of our reach. Um, I don't think we'll want to risk going any lower. Could it be that there is something else hidden there, but I just we just as easily might go through uh, where it where the game considers you falling to your death. And also, a nice little detail: it doesn't spawn from where the, the arrow hits it; it spawns from the arrow itself. Yeah, that is kind of a nice detail. I think I recognize this place as well. Because the goblins were talking about something. Oh. Yep, that thing. And... <laughs> Missed the jump. Yeah, a giant the worm. Was... A worm? Okay, uh... Grab those again. It's like with the, the lid trying to shut itself down. Uh, I... Okay. Can't just rush through. Gift for you. Yep, already. <laughs> okay. More target practice. Okay. <laughs> Did that... Okay, for a moment I thought it decapitated him. <laughs> I thought the club was its head. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're going to have to run here. So just in case I fall again. Get away. Yo. Oh. Ow. Ow. Did I die from landing there, or from, did it bite me? I'm sure. <clears throat> and that's one ugly thing. There we go. Okay, I think it was the fall damage. <laughs> Oop. This thing is not stupid. Okay. Health potion, fire trap. I don't think a fire trap is going to work against this thing. Oh. What about a, a goblin? Yeah, it'll try to quite literally smoke us out with its own breath. Uh -huh. There we go. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay, we stuck around a bit too long for that. Yeah, we are. Going... Oop, ah, crap. Oh. 
Uh, I'm not sure. There's probably some stuff hidden around here, but I don't think we want to go looking for it. <laughs> okay. You're trying to go into gas me out again? Yep. Okay. Go. Oh, don't get stuck. <laughs> I got stuck on the bits. <laughs> uh, okay, at least it auto saves at each of these points, so you don't have to go, well, <laughs> rushing all the way through again. There it goes. And go. As it's wasting its time. Oh, or, okay. Oh, it can just bite us straight in half. <laughs> if even it did half, you might just eat it on your hole. Uh, might as well heal up a little bit. Yeah. I'm pretty sure if we attack it, it won't do actually do anything. Except maybe annoy it. Okay, and go. Get not get stuck on that again. Uh, next place out. Okay, yeah, it did kill us. We, we were too low on health. So, uh, gimme, 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 gimme. And get out. Oh. Wait, that's more than one. Nope. It just spawns over real quick. Oh. Okay, there's where we need to go. And... Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, gimme. Oh, let's not get poisoned. And whilst it's doing that... Or whilst it wasted its time on that. Go! Go, 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 and... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we were actually being pushed aside there. On the... It, they made the ground slippery. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. You can say yeah, all the things about this game, but it does have its moments. Yeah, don't forget to heat yourself. Yep. And get critical hit two. So now we can get the superior version and toss out the old junk. Uh, wait, make sure you did uh, pick up the right one. Superior silk sword. Oh, that even looks a bit different. Yeah, it's a bit hard to tell in the darkness, but yeah. It has some engravings on the blade and a it has the discord, but also a bit of forks on it, so it can and match a blade. Mine oh, welcome gone. back! All they do is eat, but there are other ways to have fun, aren't there? Well, I mean, welcome one back, way Ram. I'm having fun in... Welcome back. Hey. Hey, man. Welcome well, back. I mean, what... Sorry, I had a burp stuck in my throat. Well, one way of having fun involves eating, if you know my meaning. Oh! But <laughs> uh, yeah, you just missed the giant worm escape sequence. <laughs> yeah, I have to get oh, the food on. I ordered. And yeah, you also missed a uh, bit of a goblin massacre. Ah, uh, this area. Ah. Yep. <laughs> oh. Abomination, Spider, and Goblin. Okay. Um... Okay, that was just a jump attack. Um... Ah, there we go. I must get that off my fucking face, you stupid... These things are just some, plain annoying. Suddenly you're attacked by enemies straight out of Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, dude. 
actually something I said to Hillian some stream ago. That only over the years I realized that my thematic games are extremely inspired by sword and sorcery. Even by yeah. name. Oop. Like my thematic sword and sorcery. Yeah, more you, of them. You can hear the damn uh, reference there. <laughs> yeah. I'll I'm... be right back. Uh, food and stuff. Okay. okay. I would have brought with you. Okay, I saw one flying around. Where did it go? Hmm. Uh, so only the steps are behind uh, your back. Actually, I don't think I'm going to be able to stay because I'm going to be eating, so... Oh. Okay, if you do manage to get it back, if you do manage to get it back, uh, the heck, we got adrenaline there. Yeah. You're welcome back, any case, if you do manage to. Okay. So oh, yeah, enjoy, uh, and otherwise, uh, see you later. Yep. Have see a good feast. Too. Have fun, and enjoy the game. <laughs> we will. Okay. I remember there being something in this area, and yeah, I knew the water would rise, and the spiders don't actually mix well with water. I think they don't in real life either, which is a definite plus if you ask me. But I think there was something hidden here. Um. Oh no, Helian, you don't know? Hmm? They're all fisher spiders. Yeah, but normal spiders don't. Yeah, no, spiders don't usually. Do, I don't know if fish spiders can swim. I, I know they can catch fish. But I don't know if they swim. Or if they do like a uh, water slide and just walk on water. Could be that. Okay, a little bunch of poison and potions. For sometimes I just mess up potion and potion uh, or poison up for some reason. Okay, <laughs> it had like it was free. Ow. But <laughs> okay, we just got three hundred, but it's a goblin. <laughs> I think that was with a karma moment. Anyways, uh, yes, Lord and ch uh, chat. Uh, thank you for showing up. Uh, hope you all enjoy it. Uh, diving ball spider swim. Okay, avoid do those things like the plague. <laughs> I, I think it's here and hello, very obvious little secret area there. I think there's an item we can find here, a piece of armor that's a reference. So let's take a quick little look again. Actually, I should use the I should, should use the dark vision spell first. Since we can't actually use spells whilst in the water. Let's okay. see. Was it here? Or am I misremembering? Not there. I think it was in one of these areas, or we might have completely missed it. Ah, oh, there it is. Secret area. And back up again towards the blinding light. If at any point you find yourself moving toward a blinding light like this, uh, <laughs> I hear you're not supposed to. Alright. Let's put those daggers away because that sound is going to get annoying climbing up every little item here. Oh yeah, that thing that we picked up there... Let's see... Oh, oh we haven't been going without our armor on this entire... We've been going without our armor on this entire time. Anyways, yeah. Master Thief's <laughs> outfit, plus two armor. Um, hello. I guess the golems are cleaning house. <laughs> plus two armor, increases stealth. It requires stealth three. These garments are tailored of soft black leather that makes no sound when it moves. There's a scarlet G embroiled inside the collar. Any guess who that G might be? Gary? Gareth. From the, from the Thief games. Oh! <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. I, 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 I took the foot of the Dishonored for some reason. I thought, wait, his name was not Gareth. <laughs> Dishonored also came out quite a lot later than this. 
<laughs> yeah, which made me think, wait, that can't make sense then. I realize, oh wait, he said thief, not dishonored. So, and back down. Uh, yeah, so sure, you're... the guy is called Corvo and dishonored. Yeah. It would be rather funny, though, the royal protector, uh, Gary. <laughs> okay, I can hear a goblin walking around. So miss again. He probably can hear you. Provide his eye clean his ears. Yeah, it's a goblin. What do you think? Okay, come Depends on. Depends on the, uh, what the job, job do the goblin have. There we go. What? What killed this one? Anyways, go for a swim, you. I do like that they they float for a while, but then they start sinking. Which I think is actually rather realistic. Or supposed to be, at least. Let's see, like arcane robe, fire protection. And... Okay, so this is where we're supposed to go. Then we're going to check up in there. No. Then... Let's see, is this just a, a different route of getting to the same point? Yep, no, secret area. Oh. I guess we might as well start using this thing. Yeah, see what I mean with uh, how it definitely looks from uh, your other katana? Uh, what the heck was happening in the diary? Poisons. Oh, yeah, I was enough. more wondering why you were bouncing. Okay, and again, we get a critical hit once the thing is already dead. <laughs> okay. Up, and what do we get? Stone skin, lightning bolt, antidote, and fireball. Okay. And a, and a, little and a bad little hall. Also, yeah, let's I see really like the sign of the sword. Okay, plus two armor, plus 20 mana, but requires mana affinity three. And now that we have, that's, oh, hello. I, okay, I thought this was, I thought this was fatigue related, but no, this is health related. Uh, increase to 60, uh, 70 and 80. So just plus 10 health with each of these. And not really worth it, I'd say, probably. So it let's could instead- could be good to have more mana. Or just more spells. True, I'm, I'm going to go for fireball and then to inferno. <laughs> Two of the other fire spells. And I think this... Yeah, this just drops us off in the same place. Oop. Some fish were... Why was there some... Just some fish here? <laughs> See, freeze, fire trap, and fire trap. We already have the full freeze spell, and it's not really worth it to try and swap out uh, to a scroll. Uh, actually, we, do we still have some... Fireball, Charm, Fire Trap, Freeze. Yeah, we might as well throw these out since we're probably not going to use them. Okay. See, Sanctuary and Lightning Bolt. I should probably take a moment to sort this all again. But instead, let's just chuck those together and hope for the best. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, the, the Elven Bow uses critical hit. I, I'd actually... I'd actually forgotten that. Ooh. I thought it would need, yeah, like, archery, so we can chuck out the other bow here. And move this yeah. one forward some. Actually, let's put yeah, it over the rope bow. I say you have more than one bow in the in the backpack. Yeah, it's the, the rope bow. Um, let's see. Yeah, the, the poison bow and the long bow. Both of which are now outpowered by the Elven Bow, so out they go. Oh dear. 
And yeah, we have that one equipped. No, that's the secret area we just went back to. <laughs> okay. Um, this way. Okay. Now, what are we going to find here then? Oh, transitions. So a quick save or safety save. Let's see. I think we're going to uh, the one area that I think any Dark Messiah player will re recognize. Uh, Shadow Steel Staff. Uh, Earthfire Sword. There. Plus five, may uh, plus five damage and made for melee two. Not bad for a staff. Probably the best that we've got so far. And we have Staff of Reflection. And that's it. Other than that, we've only found the wooden staff. And, ah, yeah, now we're getting there. And the, the combat staff. Yeah, this area. If you see any clips of this game, it's likely going to be in here. Oh, hello. And goodbye. Okay, That's true. Let it go. A bow of Winter's Breath. Okay. Uh, that'll be put... Where did that get put? There. Plus two magic attack once a weapon is charged, freeze enemy. Okay. Could maybe Could be, be used useful. as a separate way to uh, freeze the floor. Oops. Taking that. Yeah, or at some some of them bosses and such for... Some of the weapons are very situational. Yeah. Let's see. I think there's probably some stuff you can find out on the planks over there. If you want to spend enough time trying to get to it. But let's not. Instead, we're going down here. I would hate this area. Mostly because I would feel like this would uh, just break. Yeah, it is poorly maintained to say the least. Um, let's see. Can we get? Okay, that's a that's a painted on door. <laughs> Is there, there a way a to get in there? there? Potion? Yeah, on the on the uh, there. there. Okay. Um, I'm curious if you could climb in here somewhere. I, I very much doubt that you'd be able to fit through that window. Yeah, hmm. so likely not. Yeah, let's... Uh, okay, that's that that I'm seeing. <clears throat> Luckily, the dark vision doesn't cost any mana. Anyways. Oh, come on. <laughs> he was going, he was checking up on the goblin. Now he can check up on him in person. Oh, you found a banana. And I'm not a banana. And yeah, we'll be facing some more freaking orcs here. But... I say this is probably one of the areas with the most ways you can actually play around with your enemies. So let's actually take a quick look around. Okay, nothing of interest. Okay, just a magic shroom. Yeah, I believe there are some parts that can actually be broken here. So let's still be careful where we're going. Where's the other works? Okay, yeah, a chain like that definitely makes me believe that there's probably some stuff hidden around down there. Hmm. We're just too far away to notice the glow of it. Is it? Okay, you could probably put a rope into one of the beams over there and try and get to that chain. Because I'm pretty sure if you go down there... Hmm. 
it's hard to tell from this angle with the shadows. Uh, okay, no, you'll be able to get on there. We could actually go and check down there ourselves, maybe. Oop. Meantime, we have some orcs to play with. Oop, he was on top of destructible there. Missed the opportunity again. Are you going? What that? <laughs> Didn't even kill him. <laughs> okay. Kick him in the head while he's down. Okay. Uh, are you coming? Stranger, not get away. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a glitch. Doesn't show the actual freezing effect. <laughs> uh, okay, another one of you. Oh, no, is he going... Okay, I don't think he's going to stand on there. There's some... Okay, there's something we can interact with. Meantime, though, that was too low. Where did that end up? <laughs> on the side of it? Lighting glitching out a bit. Can I get you to walk somewhere? Come on. Move to something dangerous. Oh, yeah, I know where he's going. Ah. <laughs> Come on. It, there's just something completely hilarious about mixing magic like this uh, and stealth. And, and uh, That is going to annoy him, though. So... It's <laughs> his head. Come on, where are you? He doesn't give a crap. <laughs> I guess I gave him a bit too much head trauma. Okay, enough of this. Okay, I was hoping for more of a backflip, but okay. Where did face plant into spikes? Yeah. Oh, oh hello there. Oh, two more of you. Three, I think. You. Uh, oh, come on. You. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this spell is so freaking overpowered like this, but it's freaking hilarious. Oh, here's the chain. Okay, so this is how you get to it. Yeah, I feel like this is so sword and sorcery inspired for I think in some movies, in like sword and sorcery movies, I seen uh, many wizards just do it's not just free a five or they just do the most means pranky spell you can do, like no, this is the as low as Okay, we can Oh, I hear an orc. Um Let Let's get it back up here for a moment. And check out if we can we get on that other lip uh, little ledge there. Come on, Garrett. Or not Garrett, Sarah. <laughs> hmm. I get the feeling if we try to jump down there we're going to fall from da uh, fall damage. Wait. Gareth, Sarah. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Either names are coincidence, or 
Faith might have been originally planned as a uh, hero of magic game. Uh, Thief came out before this, so n no. Oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah, these graphics are a bit upgraded compared to that. Uh, okay, let's do. Don't forget health. Good boy. Yeah. Okay, this is just to check if we can actually go down there or not. Because I... We could put an arrow in that to get back up to this chain. But I think we're just going to f end up falling... Oh. Yeah, <laughs> you fall past where the level actually wants to go. So this... <laughs> that chain is actually a bit of a... Yeah, a, <laughs> a trap for the player. And yes, I have noticed that stone there. Okay. Yep. I think he just kicked an oil jar and got <laughs> got startled by the sound of it breaking. Okay. And yep. <laughs> I think there's a third. Anyways, we also could have done this at some point. <laughs> Almost kill ourselves. Look okay, how I much health going... we have remaining. Yeah, one. I thought it was going to smash this bit here. Okay. Enough of that. And... Yeah, another swinging weight. Basically, th this place is just a bit of everything mixed together with these, with all of the game has to offer. Okay, let's not get smacked in the face by that. Uh, let's see. Yes, Lord. Uh, this was the demo, uh, if I remember. Actually, I think you're right. In, in which case, they, they picked the perfect place to use as the demo, because, yeah... <laughs> yeah, it, it encapsulates a bit of everything of the combat system. Destructible stuff. There's... Oop. Oop, 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 oh, sneaky motherfuckers. Okay. And there's still something in there, but... Okay, that's just lost to us now, I guess. <laughs> I just realized mm -hmm. What if we could have tricked orcs and you know, fall into into that? Uh, I don't think they'd be able to. Hmm. Now well, we could probably not... have kicked them in. Yeah, then uh, they would not be able to come out. Uh, 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 okay, <laughs> dancing barrel. Is that going to come back up again? It doesn't look like it. So actually, maybe if we... Can we hit this again? No, we can't. Okay, that's a one-time shot. So whatever else glowing was in there, we missed it. And a more sneaky way to get down from here. Down from the upper area. Uh, yeah, plenty of fun in this place. So, yeah, too bad we have to move away from it. Is there anything up there? There's no way we can reach it easily. Yeah. Oh, 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 <laughs> smart. Yeah, they just tried to Donkey Kong us. Don't fall down now, Gareth. I do it again, Sareth. <laughs> uh. There's a whole little difference in the names. And yeah, we also could have put a, a rope arrow into that to hang over it. And yeah, yeah, there we go. It's a good idea to keep to have the trigger be on two blades. And hello, oh, a soul drinker. We've already got one of those. So I think that one just got deleted. Full health, mana, anything else? 
No. So yeah, you could have gotten out of this trap in three ways. Jump over there, climb up on a rope arrow, or just get into here fast. Now then... What is going to be next then? Hmm. Are we on skill points four still? Yeah, sometimes they throw the skill points at you quite fast. Sometimes there's a bit more of a gap between getting them. That what was that on the wall? Hmm. The, what? The, the, next view. The... Oh here. Oops. Okay, some some cave paintings. Uh, humanoid figure, four, three, middle finger. <laughs> four, three, one, five. Or no, five. Five, four, one, five. Yeah, and then the... Uh, is that supposed to be a demon? Or... Wait, it's naked. Or what? what is that supposed to be? No clue. It, it looks humanoid at the very least. Yeah, I don't know if this just is some a, a sort of a Easter egg or a tip for an upcoming puzzle. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think there are any uh, code things in this game. But I'm, go I'm making a screenshot of this just so I can clip out the prehistoric middle finger. <laughs> Five, four, one, five. If that is click, if that is used somewhere, we'll find out. And finally, oh, we're out of the freaking mines. Yeah, it is because of goblin or graffiti. <laughs> Could be. And I would, I totally wouldn't hold it above goblins to be po painting middle fingers everywhere. <laughs> oh right. dear. I think we're finally, yep, finally out of the freaking caves. Now you can see your sword better. Once you recover the skull and free your father, it will all be yours. Perhaps even without your father. One impossible quest at a time. Yes, my prince. I'm not going to be homesick for that temple. Okay. Oh dear. But yeah. You like your sword? <laughs> yeah, it does look a bit better than the other ones. Um, yeah, they, they really went a bit more fancy with that. Let's see. I, I think the arrows go more towards the upper bit of the crosshair. And... Uh, let's try this one. It's a bit easier to than jumping from one rope to another. And then down here. And then we can just use the rocks. There we go. Sarath, whatever you do, don't show your new form. They'll never take us back to Stonehelm. I'd kind of forgotten that we had it. <laughs> We'll head out to the ship. Duncan, is the ship safe? Praise Elon. You made it here safely. Where's the other? Going to tell the nice man the truth, my love. I didn't think so. I'm sorry. She's dead. Arantir killed her. Then we're lost. We should take the ship and flee. Maybe the Silver Cities. No. Have you seen Arantir? He lifted anchor and left the island. Damn. When? Hours ago. We didn't stop him because we were waiting for you and the skull. Sheox Gates! Arantir's got it, hasn't he? Yes, he has the skull. I'm going back to Stonehelm to the Necromancer Lairs under the city. And when I get there, I will find Arantir and kill him. My lord, we will follow you. And so you begin to build your army. I think Duncan might be the only one we can actually see the bloody eyes off. Yeah, and also the Silver Cities. That are that is the wizard uh, faction. This place smells familiar. 
But they've done a lot since our last visit. That bodes yep. ill. And yeah, we get dropped straight here. And with no way to get to any of the old areas, because there's an invisible wall here. Oh dear. Let's see, if I, what I remember of Silver City is what the main armies are. At least the two first are Gremlins and Golems, I think? With make up the core of the armies. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it is a fraction of wizards, that every noble is a wizard there. Yeah, they're so, not going to fight themselves too much, just if they can help it. Yeah, they, they do have bad wizards, but yeah, the core troop, the frontline meat grinders, are the gremlins and golems. The of dust, home of the necromancers. And we're going straight through it. You see, they also have gargoyles, which they look... At least the, in the fifth game, they made the gargoyles a bit weird. Like, very stiff flyers with stiff wings that is... Hit enemies with a tablet. Okay, now I'm just... Now I'm just uh, imagining a, a gargoyle smacking someone over the head with an iPad. Uh, <laughs> close! You're bigger and more rocky! Not if what I hear about Lord Arantir's plan is true. Well, I've never seen one of his plans fail. Well, there was the plan of getting the crystal and opening this portal then. <laughs> that kind of failed. But yeah, we're, we're headed straight into the lion's den, so to speak. And yeah, it's a good idea not to stir too, ne too many hornet nests once we're in there. I'm, I'm not sure if our suit really dampens our moves whilst we're walking. Ooh, and he's going to turn around. Okay, just need to, one of them to move away, okay. Okay, we grab this one and then the other. Let's see, does this alert you? No, it does. <laughs> Turning into me does alert him. There we go. Oh, really, Hillian? Really? Hang <laughs> her up the ass. <laughs> uh. Uh, he died in a very dignified way, didn't he? Dignified? What? <laughs> How the heck is that dignified? Nope. I thought I just heard ink whimpering outside the door. That doesn't seem to be the case. <laughs> Not sure if there's any way that we can get down into this area. Well, there is. Yeah, I'm doing no clipping. Uh, no, 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 no clipping. Just go on a very strict diet. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go through the very obvious, very ominous portal. Okay, I did not expect that. <laughs> knock, knock. Imagine the on the other side. Uh, of course, you're gonna grab him as well. Uh. Well, two barrels and two men. And one with the tag off the butt. That should be a good enough a warning. <laughs> there they are. They're on the floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 and there's the bear. <laughs> I think I actually. <laughs> I think I actually hit one of them with the barrels. There we go. I wonder, wouldn't the uh, Katana be better against them? It has more damage, I think. And he hasn't noticed us. And as well, longer range. I need backup. 
and it has more hits. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what's it? Oh, yeah, plus. Okay, okay no, they're, they're on the same damage. Okay. Well, it hits harder and have a longer reach at least. Let's see, lecture room. Wait. Locked. We enter in necromancy school. Yep. And the place is quite big, as you can see. It's not like some hovel in a mountainside somewhere. I wouldn't actually be surprised. Yeah, actually, we don't know if it was day on the other side, or day or night on the other side. So yeah, th this place could be basically this anywhere. This place is huge. More territory to conquer. That's all. Xana really is just thirsty for more than one thing than Dick, isn't she? Uh, what I want. There must be a key for these doors. Keep an eye out. Okay. Yeah, we can't open these doors. I must say, I do like, I do like the design of this place. Did I hear something? Did I hear something? Gotcha. Oh. Oh, hello. A critical hit to the Don't dick. Move, uh, I won't move, but I will dance. I don't I actually know if you move. Oh. And, of course, we get the adrenaline blast. Plus, we have nothing to kill. It looks like you have easier time killing them with the katana than with the daggers. Yeah. It does have a lot more rage. It... And, and yeah. burst someone out. And when you do crit, you crit hard. <laughs> okay, well, at least we'll get to use adrenaline on something else. And the hell is... Is that a mummified cat? Impale on the horse? A... I think that is a cat. What so... the heck? What are these for? <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 don't don't let Inky in to see that. Guide to the arcane. Let's see. You have chosen the noblest and most demanding of ways, the wizardly adepts, and it is to you that this text is dedicated. You have evolved far beyond simple swordplay or sneaking about. You have mastered the very forces of creation to bring uh, down ruin upon those who would dare to oppose you. Your mind, your will, and are the wellsprings of, uh, from which your success will grow. Think before you strike, measure well your target and the impact it will have. Ice can be as great an ally as fire, though to some, such as orcs and goblins, lightning is a more reliable path. May the blessings of Asha be upon you, may the wisdom of Shar Alam guide, uh, El Shar Elam guide your steps. Okay, no that was new. who Shar Elam is, unless that's the god uh, or person the wizards worship? I actually right. tried to look up lore of this and uh, on YouTube and the, yeah, I'm baffled that I could have found any lore of it. I could have found lore videos with the old, uh, old, old heroes games from uh, Free and Down, but nothing on the five and up in regards to lore. Okay, and that, that annoys me a little bit. Okay, little oversight platform. I guess I have to, if I want to read the law, I guess I just have to check the Wikipedia. For much of the lore I know of is from reading the unit the flavor text from the fifth mm -hmm. game. Don't try to run. Die. Ow! Okay, you can fly then if you don't want me to run. Oh. <laughs> he took up like a fucking rocket. Actually, boop. <laughs> there we go. Kill the cell. Kill the summoner, and you kill the summon. 
Oh, hello. Oh, it's one of you. Yeah, these aren't your typical black guards. I believe oh. this is a death knight. If I can get his body to... Why are you flying that way? I'm trying to throw you up. A death knight? Yeah. How the heck do you, were you able to kill him so s smoothly? Yeah, kick him in the corner instead. I mean, through the back. But yeah, yeah, let's get a bit of a more... going to be more of a fight. But they come in yeah. other ranks. Now they're, they're certainly not alive anymore. That I'm pretty sure of. Which can also be heard in their voices. Uh, don't worry, we'll face more of these. I think that might be one there. There's the dumbass we kicked down. <laughs> yeah, that, that one has different armor. So that must be one of their guard... The, yeah, what would you call them? Death guards, then? If they're not full death knights. East quarters. Well, normally a black guard is someone who, who guards... Uh, uh, the graveyards from uh, graveyard robbers. Don't think we want to pull the lever here because that would let loose the ghouls. But yeah. I, I like their armor. It's a lot more ornate than the black guards, but these are and again these are the necromancer's personal guards and Okay, just turn your head away in disapproval. And they, they almost look so practical. Anyway, is there okay, anything of use in these pissed. cells? Yeah. Well, I... it would be nice to burn the ghouls so no one released them on us. Uh, I don't think there is a incinerator built in here. So yeah, let's Wait. just leave them be. Look Wait, 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 look again. Hmm? You said incinerator. Look, look, what's that in the back? Pipes, but those pipes have been going through all the sides of the rooms up there oh. as well. That pixelation is just not to be pix get pixelated. I thought it was a fireplace. I particularly like these steps, how we're just engravings in the backs of each of them. Oh no. dear. Can we? I mean, what was it? Right. A, a sort of weapon rack. Can I get up there? Hmm. Let me go grab a barrel quick. Or maybe if I. Nope. For some reason, you, know, you you do get a bit more upwards momentum. Huh? You do get a bit more upwards momentum when you run and jump. Okay, come on, get on. Okay, we just... Oh, that's back there. There's no need to go there. Actually, we might have been able to skip all of that if we, <laughs> if we crouched through there. For now, though, we I have an archer right. to send flying. That, that was a crit. And you... Bye-bye. And just to make it a 3-0. <laughs> okay. They came out of here. What's this? A book we can't actually pick up. Okay. There's only one thing. It's a dirty book. Shadow and Street of Improbable Reconciliations. Okay. And, nope. Oh, someone should have been hitting the berry juice. Let me put this <laughs> away. Is there a way that I can hide my uh, hut for a moment here? Because I do like this bit. Um. 
I'll just try to get as much as I can. And... Wait. Sneak short... Is the screenshot button not working for some reason? F11. Okay, I'll just make a freaking print screen then. And... And here's someone... Oh. Okay, I guess they don't care about all the bloodstains, but then again, it's a necromancer's lair. If you start caring about the bloodstains, uh, you're going to be very busy. <laughs> I just like that wah sound that they make. It sounds like you're kicking down fucking Waluigi. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Oh god, I just made me imagine that you suddenly take off the helmet and there he is, Waluigi. Let's just give the theory of magic, health potion, fire trap, lightning bolts. Now let's check those books. An improbable, an impossible obscure text that seems to be about prophecies. Let's see. Chapter 3. There are thus conflicting prophecies treating the inflection point of the apostasis. Uh, however, it could similarly be argued that the seemingly differing prog prognos... Whatever that is. That is the... Prognostications. Prognostications. Uh, that is the apostasis and the dyna... Uh, dyna... Dynocidal uh, restriction stem not from fundamentally opposed analyses of the propagational effects of the apophasthere throughout the continuum, but merely the identical conclusions of the inflection dynamic as observed via heretofore unrelated points of reference. While certain philosophers may scoff at this theory, uniting previously desperate uh, theses uh, concerning the quarantine and the sentinel, uh, accept acceptation of the fundamental argument would definitely reconcile extent uh, functional data with the previously suspected yet unproven uh, link intimately binding the related vessels both geographically and tempor temporally. Temporally. Yeah. The heck is this guy on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a load of big words. Uh, uh, the origins of magic in Ashan. First be it known that magic is the second of the gifts granted upon us, unto us by Mother Asha, who gave life unto the universe and watches over it even as she slumbers. We are all her children, whether we can to or no, and as such we have been blessed with the duty to use her second gift, that of magic. Understandest thou magic and thou dost understand the universe entire, for it is the warp and the woof. <laughs> and the woof, what? The very weave of things understand too that what most wizards call magic is but the near is but the merest taste of the true uh, nature of power a spoonful drawn from an infinite ocean think on that and thy power will grow really the, the weave and the wolf <laughs> are, you, are you making a dog color uh. oh wait We've backtracked to the start. Okay. Then... I, still wonder... I guess Asha is one of the dragons that sacrificed them. Else to save the world. Do the... mm. something tells me she was not planning to have a crazy necromancer cult. Yeah. No, then what is this way? The great teaching. The great teaching is that death is peace. Death is order. Death is perfection. What is the first duty? The first duty is to aid death, and thus to aid peace and order. And those who oppose the great work shall meet death in the end and aid us. Very. And as I just as I said about that, we have the little one of the probably made it prove that 
Yeah, she's a dragon of order, but they may have forgotten what order and balance is. Just because, yeah, just because your dragon became a martyr, doesn't it mean you all should become that? The scroll of telekinesis, that it has no use for us. Okay. Now, yeah, this does all a bit to explain their... Oh, hello. Their reasoning. Oh. oh, yes, there we go. <laughs> we almost shoved him under oh. the pink bed. <laughs> I think you've seen someone. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that's an apprentice or something. Come on, get on the fucking bed, you. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't fit. And then the squiver, we already got one of those. I, I just really like these uh, stained glass windows. So I, I'm guessing they probably didn't make them the usual way. There's probably like blood in there or something. Possibly, and you'll probably like them because they are purple. Yep. See, people, I know him way, way too well. Oh, transition point, so we're making it the heck. Um, hmm? Okay, <laughs> I guess it's a good thing we didn't need to go back to these two saves. <laughs> this looks like TV static. Wait, oh, I know what's going on. Do you see when it's flashing quite sad? doing there reading studying i sneak it in between chores huh? i want to be a necromancer too they have all the power in Heresh. look you were born into a slave family you're probably gonna stay like that no way not me power's the way out and i'm gonna get it or die trying or both you know what the necrolords are like yeah, yeah, necro lords. But that explains it. They're not apprentices, they're slaves. So, uh, hello! Help me! <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that. Why do we get the feeling that this is the skin of the person they dissected to make this diagram? Oh dear. <laughs> but yeah, uh, but, uh, forget it now. You you, you, you remember when you say it says quest save a few times? Yeah. Probably the reason it looks so horrible on the other saves is because you... You don't wait until it's finished. <laughs> so probably yeah, is... Yeah, you saved mid, mid loading. Uh, not that, I've, I've stopped before it, but it could be that it's being so close to a transition point that that causes it to freak out. What was that? Don't move, buddy. Okay, so if I... Show some skill. There we go. <laughs> All the way down. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is the moment we could use a bow, actually. We do have that elven bow. Uh, what do you call it? Elven bow. It's only you call it an elephant bow. <laughs> okay. I would not be surprised if an elven bow can kill an elephant. <laughs> oh. Spotted. It reminds me, the the mount of the wizards, at least in the fifth game, are elephants. Okay. So all the wizard heroes ride elephants and cause spells from their backs. Oh, fly, you fool! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, come on. Just because you speak, we said you need to do that, you joke. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on, dumbass. Get closer. Bye bye. <laughs> Just walk straight over his corpse. Uh, okay, let's pester them. What are we oh, one of you again. Uh, bye. Uh, ooh. There we go. Okay, they will occasionally dodge your kicks, it seems. <laughs> if you try them a bit too few. Uh, uh, some eyes on the ramp. If more show up. But that isn't going to do much if they're just going to fall forwards on their face. Oh, I thought it would uh, fall back. Um... Is that all of them? It sounds like all of them. Nope, nope. Come on. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a flip or something, just... <laughs> That's uh... scream! He turned into a ghost, I think. Uh. Oh. Coming up for second. Oh, no. And thirds. Yep. They are fast little bastards as well, huh? Just be glad they are not on the mounts. Uh. You could probably get through this entire game just with the freeze spell and the kick. Hello. Potashar's incantations for the statue is a mage. The wise and uh, person mages, whether his magic be light or dark, attuned to the living or the dead, comes from two sources. The benefic uh, benefic beneficence of the dragons who granted life uh, to all who dwell in the world and his own will, which takes that which has been given unto us and gives it form, and purpose and power. By training his will, the appropriately gifted magician can use that power, directing it to do his will in innumerable shapes and visages. The forms and sigils of the proper incantation are tools for, for this art, a way of focusing the mind to channel the mystic energy of the universe as he sees fit. Okay, any more of those that we can read up here? Oh, there. Yeah, but they, they have quite a, a, a lot of nice lore. <clears throat> Let's see. The Annals of the Dead. We were always apart, always different. Those who cleave to, uh, cleave to the world of the living will never comprehend uh, those who have seen the other side. I think it means to say cling or something. Uh, though our forms are purged of lusts and needs, we, are not lost, uh, we have not lost our thirst for wisdom, for knowledge, for instruction. It was this desire to comprehend the entirety of Asha's creation that led Belkath to the enlightenment of her true form, the three-faced goddess who holds us all in her many hands. It is this passion that keeps us, Belkath's children, searching ceaselessly for his lost artifacts and relics as well as those of his master Sar Shazar, and even of Sar Shazar's master Sar Elam himself, the Seven Dragon. Okay, so they, they have yet another... They, they imagine another aspect of uh, the Seventh Dragon, but this time as a, a male necromancer. No book up here. It's, All right, so Sour Sa Elam is another dragon? I really need uh, to read up on the lore. Now, the Seventh Dragon is Asha, I believe. So they're, they're just picturing, like the uh, Spider Temple, they saw, they saw Asha as, well, a spider goddess there. Hmm. Or at least as the form of a spider. A partial history of the noble order of necromantic sorcerers. We were formed from the schisms that broke the unity of the followers of Shah Alam, uh, though all swore to cleave uh, to his... Why, why, why cleave? Isn't cleave just cut something apart? I think uh, they did for... It seems they all a splinter group of another religion. Uh, though all swore to cleave to his principles, few had the discipline to do so. To cleave to his principles would more sound like cutting away from them, but oh well. 
Uh, upon his death, then, the disciples fragmented. Many led by Shar Cesar, his most gifted pupil, settled in that place they call, named the Seven Cities. Uh, 74 YSD. No clue what that may stand for. Years since departure. Mysterious death of Shar Cesar. Shar Cesar died in his sleep, where we attempted to move his, uh, when we moved, yeah, attempted to move his body to the necropolis. It crumbled to ashes. Uh, 461 YSD. Discovery of necromancy. Belcat, wisest of the many who claimed to follow Shar Cesar, uncovered one others previously hidden in the teachings of Asha. He showed to a loyal few the path of necromancy. Okay, so, so they didn't. Um, they. Uh, Shar Elam and Shar Cesar were not necromancers, they were normal sorcerers, or normal. Hmm. 461 to 660 YSD, the rise of the necromancers. And so it was for a period of time that their presence blossomed and we became a powerful force in the seven cities. 751 to 770 AD. Treachery. The wizards grew jealous of the powers we wielded. In their ignorance, they tried to cast us out. But we do not bow lightly, and bloody civil war followed. Towers were cast down, armies of our loyal ones marched, and sheets of fire scorched the land. The realm of the wizards was no more, and the survivors fled to set up a new empire. Uh, between quotation marks. A pale imitation of what once was. We found our own solace in a land called Harash, building cities and workshops to rival even those of the seven cities that stood no more. Since that day, our hatred of the wizards no, has no bounds. We shall return one day to bend them to the way of the spider goddess. Okay, yeah, they are... They... They are... A dark cult. And probably twisted the the, 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 the goddess' uh, true teachings. Yeah. Okay, so maybe I was wrong. They... Yeah, I'm, I'm probably confusing things up a bit here. But they did say the spiders are one of her aspects. Yeah. But yeah, let's see here. What does this, this one say? The Complete Book of Necromancy. Necromancy is the oldest and most sacred of the forms of magic. That's a lie. It is the art of coming, uh, coming uh, the living and the dead, crossing the boundaries between worlds so that a fruitful union of life and death may be achieved. Though it is misunderstood by many, it is neither evil nor foul, it is simply what it is. Chief among the achievements of necromancy is the ability to command the spirits of the dead. These may be interrogated, questioned, cajoled and commanded to do a sufficiently present, uh, present uh, necromancer's bidding. Lesser practitioners may find their efforts less fruitful, though even the uh, youngest adepts may have some power over the dead. Most potent adepts can in fact draw forth the spirits of the deceased and place them in still living bodies, displacing the original souls and creating creatures such as zombies, ghouls and liches. Uh, other rawer powers are also at the necromancer's disposal. Life can be drained from opponents, objects crumple, uh, crumbled as if smitten by the hoary hand of time uh, smote them. The greatest of the necromancers uh, may become themselves in turn the undying sentinels of Harash in the form of vampire lords or other Present beings. I have no idea how to pronounce that word. I don't even know what that word means. I never heard, see, heard that word before. Same. Let's see, we can't open that. But yeah, this definitely gives us a good picture of what the necromancers are. <laughs> okay, I'll leave those I, to be. I, I can already imagine if the dragon. The dragon wakes up and see what they have done. That he would be very displeased. Did I get spotted already? No. You won't stay in for long. Oh yeah, they also very fanatical. Yeah. Okay, this one spotted me somehow. And really using it. As wizard's corpse, as a training dummy. There we go. Let's see. 
Make sure to wash the area down and eliminate all residue once training is complete. Mother Superior Geralda. Okay, I... Uh, Mother Superior, that's, um, that's an, a term from nuns, I believe. We've only seen male necromancers so far. And uh, there are many, many, many women that are necromancers. True, it's just not in this game so far. Then again, they could also be deformed by their own powers to the point that they are unrecognizable. <laughs> Come on, move a bit more. I could just cut you up, but I want to backstab you. Don't try to run. Still counts, he got stabbed in the back, but just not by me. Oop. It did the animation, but it didn't actually do it. Uh, okay. Come get me. But how did you not get impaled there? So, did you? <laughs> no, you did not. Corpse. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just surprised there. I got a wolf word that did she... The flying shield will decapitate you! Oh dear. There we go. Got more? Okay, come on. Come one, come all. We serve pain in the form of boots. <laughs> That's all on the menu. He's checking on the corpse on the <laughs> I'd actually forgotten that it'll actually check on corpses. He hasn't actually spotted me, it seems. Where is he? There he is. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> completely miss. Yep, I meant it. Yep. It should have healed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well. Oh, dear. Let's see. We were spotted by an archer. I, I thought there was a necromancer across there, but no. Wait. Snap the archer? That, that is a necromancer. How did he notice us? He was looking a completely different way. Okay. Also, they need a very big ass book to make it just a little note like this, huh? I like the books. Must be written in Entish. Actually resting over there. Oh, now I got it. <laughs> uh, okay, that, that was an animation I don't think I've ever seen before, where they lean against a wall. Yeah. Are you going to do the same thing? What are they whistling? Can we just... Nope. Hey, pal. <laughs> you, you only noticed me because you practically jumped on my fucking head. Uh. Two for the price of one. There we go. Now did the... They didn't hear that. Okay. And yeah, they they took down the usual dummy to use a freaking corpse instead. Bloody heck. Oh, they noticed. 
How did you notice a corpse over there from there? Actually, can I just backstab you now? Nope, nope. <laughs> because you come fucking charging in like a freaking battering ram. Yeah, they are freaking fast. Come is this a is this a two-handed only? No, why did he put away the the she, the swords? Give me the shield. I, I must have tried to move over too fast or something. Okay, there comes number two. Oh. Have you actually lost me? You've lost me, haven't you? Okay. See if you notice this then. <laughs> I'd have hoped. I hope that would have killed him, but no. <laughs> Remember, you do have a shield. Yep. There we go. Nope. <laughs> he died from hitting the shield. Oh, oh, come on, don't die now, sir. Eight and then five. Okay, I didn't know that I would actually do damage, <laughs> but now we do. What would they expect from lightning of that uh, amount? <laughs> okay, just finish that one off easy, and on we go. I still feel like you have easier time killing them when you're using the sword. It also helps a lot that uh, I'm just knocking them around a lot more. <laughs> well, that was easy. Okay, this Black Warp. Probably a magical key. They inherited their bad habits from the wizards. This the area of Ashan. We've read this one out before. Yeah, fire against humans and animals, lightning against orcs. Does it actually say... Uh, or, okay, orcs or goblins. Okay. Right. With that orb, we can go back and actually start opening up some doors ourselves. Like that one right there. Yeah. And we have seven skill points. So now we have our own fireballs. I do have to ask. Uh, okay, now we start. I was wondering if the flies were following us. Nope. No, then. <clears throat> Pardon? Let's see. Oh, yep, this place. And here we have to deal with two necromancers. Is this a butcher shop? No, a workroom. If you worship death, you don't care how you learn the secrets of life. Better to be the examiner than the examinee. Just efficient. At least that's how they see it. I don't think we can sneak up too close before that one spots us. Is the girl ready? The girl is being taken to the pit, and the avatar has been kept hungry. Good. She'll bite quickly then, and we'll know soon if the venom will do its work. If it is successful, you then she joins the race of the unlimited. 
They're stuck between the, the zombie and our hard place. Okay. Actually... Nope. And... Yeah, they, they can still be pretty deadly, just necromancers. But yeah, they were talking about someone there. That An we avatar. Also forgot that. Let's see. Okay, they actually stack. Ring of the Phoenix. Oh yeah, once health is reaches zero, restore it. But the ring breaks. Wait, hold on. Uh, You're not wearing any rings? No, nope, we were compl we completely forgotten that. <laughs> Oh dear. Wait. Do we Let's even have an amulet? Plus two, plus four, and ten. okay, so now we should have a 10% chance of a critical hit at any point. Is this a butcher shop? No, a workroom. If you worship death, you don't care how you learn the secrets of life. Better to be anyway. an examiner than the examinee. Just efficient. At least that's how they see it. Incoming! Oh, can I? Ah, uh, no. Can I steer it? No, that's just. Go. Oh, it is it coming? Yeah, that was coming back. Yes. <laughs> Actually. Okay. Uh, it's like a magical banana peel, but. <laughs> and just as hilarious as that. Go. Oh, what in? Apply if you don't get stabbed in the back with a fireball yourself. Stabbed in the back by a fire. Do we need to explain how a ball work? Is this a butcher? No, a worker. Okay. Heal up. I don't think it really, it doesn't have, or it shouldn't have. Oh. It shouldn't have an effect on any damage you deal by moving like that, but it uh, should affect how many you actually hit with your swings. And, Oh, okay, that's the second time in this game that we've been frozen. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, <laughs> that was... That was actually smart of the guy. <laughs> oh! But yeah, we've been frozen before. No, a workroom. If you worship death, you don't care uh, you how forgot, you learn the secrets of life. Put on the ring again. The examiner than the examinee. Just efficient. At least that's how they see it. Also, let's equip this. And let's put a save here so we don't have to hear Xana go about that again. And yes, uh, there we go. I was going to ask, why is it that in the middle of all of this light we have a full bar of stealth? <laughs> is the girl ready? The girl is being taken to the pit. The avatar has been kept. Good. She'll bite quickly then, and will know soon if the veil will do its work. If it is successful, then she joins the ranks of the unliving. And if not, then she dies. <laughs> and we feed her corpse to the ghouls. It's not like you can poison them. Okay, let's thin the ranks a bit first. Okay. Should be able to stay hidden as long as this guy doesn't get close enough. But yeah, they've got a prisoner. Wait, that's the guy from the menu. Actually, yeah, that, that matches his <laughs> inventory trapdoor key. Oh, that's this here. Oh, and we've been spotted. 
Uh, let's check out something. Oops. Stay where you are, In oh, now it's on. Did they? What the? He blew up his friend. <laughs> oh, you were in a perfect spot for a free trip. Okay, interesting. Seems like if they throw a fireball at you when you block it with a shield, they get sapped, even from range. <laughs> I only just now noticed that. Okay, that I'm not sure that's supposed to work like that. Still, that makes the shield much better. Okay, uh, Earthfire shield. Oh yeah, I'd forgotten about that we had that. Uh, what can we throw out? Uh, I don't think we'll be using fire traps much anymore. Uh, have we yeah, let, let's used stick them? keep it still. We, we have used them against the spiders. Okay, the endless quiver stack for some reason. Um, stone skin charm. We should use that sometime, but let's just drop the poison quiz. We're not going to use them. And we can use that to unlock these, I think. Where did that keep it? Let's see. A key that unlocks the door, the trap door in the laboratory. Okay, so not that then. Is this the laboratory? And what made that noise? Hmm. And girl and oh. That made that noise. Okay, let's just read this and get out. Food for the great Nemtaru. Please discard failures from the incubator here so that the sacred spider's food can be prepared properly. Wait, oh, uh oh. Yep, they've I got a big ass spider. Oh, no, no, Ilya. It it may not just be a spider. You, you remember when I said that there were... They had their own version of Dryder? Yep. I think you're about to run into one. And I thought... I must have forgotten it. I thought they didn't have them until the 6th to 7th game. Dangers of Frost. Well, I, I can clear up now. They, it is not a, it's not a drider, at least as far as I can tell it is. All um, right, but it's not really a noble spider either, is it? Nope. Where is this? Could we have snuck down here? Could we have snuck down here from the start, just to avoid all of them? Yeah, we could have. Oh well, <laughs> it's about as uh, how most of our uh, most of our Discord uh, let's plays went. Anyways, we tried to sneak, uh, but end up murdering everything. Anyways. And yeah, some zombies of pris made from prisoners. So let's instead just open that up. Yoink that, and wow, that, that closes real fast. And there's a full health there. Okay. Yoink. <laughs> it's a really efficient <laughs> closing system. Okay. What have we here? Yeah, more shadow steel daggers. We already have those, so there's no need. Let's take a look. Daggers of Frost. Plus two, but they freeze. Use Power Strike to perform magic attack once charged. Mm, nice, but we already have a lot better weaponry. Hey, let's as you not, said that you use that. not to style with your sword. <laughs> Show off. Did you nope. really open a gate to Stonehill? I saw it with my own eyes. The light is different. The sounds are different. Even the air coming through smells different. How? What do you mean? Voice. Fresh. Are we all going to go through? Wouldn't you love that? I doubt it, though. One 
Get out of the way. Now get out of the way. Really? Are you just... <laughs> Are you that dedicated of a servant? Yep. <laughs> Next time, just get out of the way. Yep. Plate armor, we already have that. And this, we can just lockpick. <laughs> Maybe we would have been able to lockpick that lock earlier, where we... Are you trying to be sneaky? I saw you sneaking up on me whilst I was working on the lock there. It, it, okay, for a moment I thought I got myself stuck. Okay, health, mana. A laundry and more dead cats? Uh, I guess the necromancers must be dog people. But they're more spider people if you think about it. Not load. Save. Okay, save and wait. Yeah, it says no, quest saved. Yeah, but it flashes several times. Okay, does this research? Okay, not corrupt. No corruption there, at least. So let's save after as well then. Also, seriously, what is with all the cage up mummies? She's alive. Help me! I hear human voices! Why don't you help me? Ah! Leanna, no! Right, yeah. let's save her. <laughs> yeah, it'll piss off Zana, but that's a boon, I'd say. I'm not rude enough to interrupt their prayer, but I will blow them up right after. Uh, let's see. Following the incident of last week, we installed torches in the spider pit. Don't forget that spiders fear fire. You will be safe if you stay close to those torches. Okay. I never noticed if they actually stay away from fire. If, well, if, you're, if you're holding a fire spell, then the spiders will still come after you, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we'll get the test stats once we, uh, go down into <laughs> spider silk hell. And, again, I just really love just the animation with this. Actually. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oop! <laughs> Pulled it like freaking laundry. <laughs> uh... In the prayer room. <laughs> uh. We are getting a bit close to the end of the stream, though. Oh. Hi. Hello. Oh, oh, come on, you freaking cheater. Okay, then just a normal way down then. We stand on the threshold of a great Don't move, buddy. Oh, and we interrupted them. Oh, uh, well. Actually... Uh, we can at least still read what they were going to say. Uh, no, that doesn't stop the things. Uh, the, 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 the mighty was selected of the seven in his hand, the skull of shadows. Uh, okay, I couldn't read all of that. Oh, hello. 
Uh, the main thing that I mentioned about what this skull of shadows is meant to imprison the demon. Mana. Yeah, we already knew that we were would need to use the, the skull to, to free him. So yeah, it makes sense that it could also be used to uh, yeah strengthen the prison, I guess. I, I should not have peeked out here. Oh, hello. Uh, no, we did we pull away? We pulled away the lecturer, but none of the rest. Okay. Uh, for your loyal attendants, explode. Uh, actually, yep, come on. There we go. That didn't kill any of them. Yep. And for trying to be fancy, we got to pull on. Put on ice. At the very least, we get a lot of our yeah, adrenaline refunded. I should put those next to each other. Here we go again. Don't forget, you have the shield. How did... See? <laughs> oh, did he get set on fire by his ally? I think so. <laughs> uh, somehow that is on fire. It doesn't even look flammable. I think there's something thing about the on the table that got uh, that's for flammable. Oil jars. Could have chucked those at their faces. Might be an old jaw that exploded by that uh, thing or by the pillar. Maybe. And um, yeah. Down you go. No, we're not because we would fall from this. Actually, I think if we if we'd looked over the edge, we could have gotten a glimpse of the beast that hides down there. Yeah, wrong way. Wrong way again. What? Where's the exit here? Oh. Aaron Tears Chamber. And of course they make it one of these gates. Alright. Heal up a bit more. Good point. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Just ignore me, or, or just drop more sponge and don't. All right. Any more banter from you, Mitsana? Where would Aaron here keep his journal? Where would we find his personal effects? Please! There's no one here! Oh. No one with a soul! Her again? Oh, forget her. You have to retrieve the skull. She'll just slow you down. She's still alive. We must find a way down to the pit. You don't have time for that girl. You must stop Aaron here. Yep. It's completely optional to rescue her. But... Yeah, we're going to. Yeah, for I've not seen her rescue for I, the YouTubers can play this side with Sana. For apparently she found the uh, Liana more annoying for some reason. Hmm. 
Yeah, you know, different people have different limitations for what they find annoying and such. Yeah. Let's drink that. And yeah. <laughs> they brought plenty of things down there to feed this thing. Uh, but we'll be going down there next time, though. Oh, we got cliffhanger. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, we could just go down there and fight that thing, but then we'd have to extend things by like half an hour or something. Uh, play taken. So. <clears throat> yeah. That means that Thursdays we'll be continuing with this game, and. I don't think we'll be lucky enough to finish it then, but we will be getting very close to the end at the very least. Because we are in the last third of the game. Of, well, it <laughs> makes sense since well, all of it is typically in the end, the last third that the uh, enemy has what they need for whatever they're planning, and then you have to rush after them to stop them. So, yeah. Yep. Let's actually leave the drawing for a bit of ambience. <laughs> okay. Thank you anyone who has been watching now or later, and thank you especially back here. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. Oh, that's the other timer going off. And yeah, thank you too for yeah, for chatting, yes, Lord. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, <clears throat> pardon. Like I said, Thursdays will be continuing. So until then, have a nice day. And un yeah, until then. Say, folks, and watch out for necromancers <laughs> and giant spiders <laughs> and undead seagulls. <laughs>